Hey guys, you're watching Fishing with Gary. We're up at Bartlett Lake today, and we are going to show you something that catches fish, and it's easy to use. Let me show you something that's easy to use, and it catches fish, you know. These little, uh, this has happens to be a Kitek swim bait on a little crappie jig, you know, maybe a uh, uh, 316th ounce or something, but Bass Pro makes these. There's a lot of different companies that makes these. So let's give this a try and see what we can get, okay? Let's go fishing. I've got this rigged on a, uh, some Nanofill on here and a little liter of uh, eight pound test. These things, uh, guys, if you haven't used braid or Nanofill on your spinning rods and your, your spinning reels and like this, you need to put that on there. You, it is so much easier to cast this and catch fish and you don't have that monofilament coming out all over your reels. I can't tell you how many people I take fishing, they bring it, they say, can I bring a rod? Yeah, I'll bring a rod. And they bring the rod and it's, it's the, the line's all messed up and, and it'll never happen to you again. And look at this, you can just throw this out and you don't even have to throw it very hard. You can just throw this out and reel it in real slow. So the idea is just to get this in, let it sink a little bit, and then just, I just wind it in real slow like this. Just a real, real slow retrieve. So just gotta, you gotta just find the fish, folks. Just find where they're at, where they're schooled up, you know, and just, just go with it. Usually these little things, when these fish are schooled up or they start chasing shad, they're not chasing shad at all here. We have a high pressure system, so it's, uh, it's, it's one of those days that they just are not uh, chasing shad too much. So I'm, so I'm just making some nice long casts. I have an open hook on this, so I'm not casting back in the trees, but I am gonna cast and just keep moving back through these trees down the shoreline just to keep trying this. So just got to remember not real too fast because um, it's later in the day. It's 10:10 now, and uh, we're just trying this to see if uh, we can get any fish to bite on this. Usually you can. You just got to make a few casts because it's in the middle of the day and it's a little bit harder to catch fish right now. So we'll see how many how many times um, it takes me to cast before I can catch one. That's the trick. So I just got to stay with this wind and just let this blow me. This little tail just really, really, really wiggles. Yeah, fishing on a rising barometer, boy, I'll tell you, once that sun comes up, it's, it was, it's good in the morning, but once the sun comes up and it's 10 o'clock, it's a whole new animal on this lake, you know. I hate it when it's just crowded. I haven't seen a boat yet. So we fish during the week or we film during the week and they probably might be up in there, but with an open hook, I probably wouldn't be getting this back to, to... Oh, that was a good hook set. But you know what I got? I got me a tree limb. I let it go down just a little bit. Oh, it came off, good. That's good. How often does that happen? Nice. All right, I'm gonna go right up to the trees up there. Try something a little bit different. I'm only in eight feet of water, so you can see all the trees out there just lined up out there. Boy, I want to put on a brush hog so bad and just go flipping. <laughs> Might have to do that too. So I'll just keep throwing this a little bit and see if I can't catch one. There's a long, this, this nanofill, this Berkeley nanofill, my gosh. It's, uh, they don't call it braid, they call it like a super line, but it's remarkable, I tell you. It's uh, a really, really nice. Uh, I filmed with Josh Bertrand. Uh, I guess it's been about a month now, and uh, Josh had this on all his on his rods and reels, and boy, I tell you, it's, I started using it after that. This is a great product made by Berkeley, and uh, it's so smooth coming off, off the uh, reel, too. I mean, you don't even have to cast it, and it's it's gone 50 feet, 60, 70 feet, perfect what you need.
And I got plenty of activity on the graph. Just, I had one little nibble back there, and I'm sure it was a small one, sure, because he just grabbed the tail, and I was, I was reeling it. You know, if I let this go way down, it's just going to get stuck in the trees. But I'm, I'm fishing over the tops of trees. I can see them right now. I'll just back. There's a fish. Oh, missed another one. My other. Maybe I got into a school of babies or let's try it again. I had two bites, two casts. I just didn't hook them. They didn't, they didn't take the whole thing in their mouth. Okay, try out there. All right, let's just keep casting. It's pretty fast too, you know, you're not sitting there drop shotting and just letting it sit there. You know, you're ca constantly casting and reeling, but. Nice and easy, just a nice slow retrieve. There's one right by the boat, finally. Man, not a giant, but. But he'll do. I've had like three bites on three consecutive casts. You know, you know you're doing something right when they bite, you know, up on the top. So we're just gonna let this little guy go. I'm in an area now where there's some fish at least. So I'm gonna just kind of cast a few more. Got a tons of shad here. I mean a lot. Let's just see if I can get a couple more bites. Thinking of moving, but I I just don't like I don't like leaving feeding fish, that's for sure. Let's try something a little different. We dip our worms. Let's try the tail on this. We'll just put just a tiny bit on there, just a, a half of the tail. Let's give that a try. Maybe that'll that'll uh, get those fish to key key in. Oh yeah, that looks good. Just enough to key in on, on this bait. All right, here we go. Trading out the boat while I'm in 10 feet of water. I'm pulling out a little bit more. Seems like every time I pull out away from the bushes, I start catching fish just, just a little bit bigger, just a little. And that way I can let it drop down too. And I can always cast way up there too. So it's not like it's, I'm in 10 now, 10 and a half. There's a little bite right there. So there's another little bite right there. And that's all those little guys. They, they don't, they don't, they're so little they can't even, uh, they can't even get that thing in their mouth. I know a lot of guys, when you're fishing real, real shallow, they like to throw these little Kitex and skinny dippers up real shallow and they'll burn them back, but they're only in a foot of water. When they talk about burning those things back, they're only in one, two feet of water, three feet of water. When you're out 10, 15 feet, you just need to be real patient and just reel it in slow and let that thing go down three or four feet. I'm just moving around, folks. Just, uh, just keep moving. You know, hitting your trolling motor and, you know, you might end up getting in a school of fish or something, you might be able to catch two or three out of it. So, you know, if you don't just stay in one area and fish, keep on moving around, you know. Thought about moving up there, but then there's a couple boats up there now on the other side. So, you know, I just push this 10 feet and then I just make a cast. Nice and slow. Sometimes I can feel this just ticking the top of these uh, these tree limbs we have here. Are ready? Man, I've had two, there's one right there. You'd be surprised sometimes when you get close to the boat, they'll just come right up. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, a mackerel. That's a better fish, guys. So, there it is, our little jewel right there. Yeah. No wonder he didn't come off when he jumped, you know. 
this is what I'm using, just this little tiny bait right there. You can see that right on the fish, just a little, little crappie head. Oh yeah, I did put a little chartreuse on there, see that? White, that's just a white white. So, you can have fun with these. These are a fun, to, fun, to, fun to fish with. Just let him go, go back down. Oh boy, look at this little guy. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, the uh, bait. Wait till you see this, guys. The bait is is uh, is big <laughs> as the fish. <laughs> How's that for a shot? <laughs> hey, uh, you know what? With this giant bass we just caught, we're going to. Uh, we were just trying to show you some baits to use. You know, at the last minute. Look at that little guy. Oh boy, we had a really really good good. Uh, Hatch, but uh, this is just a little, little small, little three-inch Kitek, and uh, you can uh, once you uh, use it and you use, you just thread it back on and reuse it again, or just rip off the top. Three-inch crappie jig, buy them at the Bass Pro Shop. Get little red eyes, little chartreuse on the tail. Hey guys, we're going to say goodbye right now. Thanks for watching. If you want the newsletter, go in and subscribe to the, the uh, www.fishingwithgarysimp.com, the website. I'm getting ready to send out another detailed uh, newsletter on um, barometer readings and pressure. So it should be pretty good. I believe in that strongly. Give this a try. It works.